Construction of passenger terminal building. The passenger terminal building is designed principally for functional purpose. Large pylons and super trusses provide ample space within the multi-purpose interior. The main structure of the building is composed of steel comprising pylons, super truss, secondary truss, skylight, trellis louvre, aluminum frame and glass facet, wing truss, pylon. A total of 16 pylons are used to support the 8 super trusses. Each pylon is 37 meters high and weighs 340 tons. Construction steps 1. Constructing the foundation to support the pylon structure. 2. Install a temporary support to support the pylon sections and side supports. 3. Install four lower legs using screws to connect them to the foundation. 4. Install the remaining middle and upper sections by welding to the former section and remove the temporary support. Super Trust Since the main terminal building is an enormous building with a span of 126 meters, a specially designed roof structure is required. Super trusses as the primary trusses provide strong support for the weight of the roof. Each super truss is 210 meters long and 9 meters in depth. The whole structure comprises 8 sections with different weights depending on its loading. The heaviest section weighs 1,554 tons. Construction Step Assembling and installing the super trusses required a special technique in which the egg segments were assembled at the site before lift to the top of the pylon for its final installation. The construction steps were 1. Install temporary steel supporting the structures for assemble the super truss by commencing at both ends and proceeding towards the center to prevent bending. 2. Install elevation equipment at the upper and lower sections of the supporting pylons, including jack for lifting equipment. 3. Install steel cables to attach the elevation equipment at the top of the pylon in four directions. 4. Lift the super truss by using a computer control system to monitor the loading on each jack. The level and supporting cable are inspected and the jacks are readjusted before the next elevation. 5. Secure the lifting equipment on both sides. <music> 6. Move the super truss into position on the pylon and weld. Lower the lifting equipment to the ground. 7. Move the lifting equipment to the next lifting location. Aluminum frame and glass facet The glass facet installation is a major challenge and a source of pride in engineering work and construction. The operation technique has been used in Thailand for the first time and requires precision, accuracy, and careful installation. The facet has a total area of 30,000 square meters. Composite aluminum panels cover the area from the ground level to some parts of the second floor, and a glass facet is laid from the second floor to the top level. The composite aluminum panels are coated with fluorocarbon. The glass facet is manufactured from laminated tempered glass that is 2.25 meters wide, 2.45 meters high, and 21.52 millimeters thick. Self-adjustable aluminum panels will be installed between the last glass panel and the roof structure on the top floor to allow the movement of the roof. The steel structure supporting the glass panels is composed of steel posts attached to the concrete floor with steel pins, allowing pivotal movement perpendicular to the panels. The top of the steel posts are connected to the roof structure via horizontal connections. Construction Steps 1. 
install the vertical truss using cranes to lift the vertical truss into the base plate and secure with pins. 2. Install steel compression rods on top of the vertical truss with fingers on the compression rods. 3. Install the horizontal truss and secure the cables of the horizontal truss to the specified tension. 4. Install tension rods on the horizontal truss and secure fingers on the spreader. 5. Attach a spider on the glass panel and install at the location lifting by lifting platform. 6. Install glass fitting accessories such as sealant, movement joints and hooks for any opening for side support, tension rods, the secondary truss, steel structure under the secondary truss. Seven, inspect the strength of the structure and sealant between the glass panels to the specified engineering standards. Touch up pen work and check overall finished work. The design of concourse buildings aims to provide comfort for passengers, facilitation and air traffic control in the most efficient way. The structure is reinforced concrete and the roof and wall structures are constructed with a 5-pin truss with mixture of glassing and fabric membrane. The steel 5-pin truss structures to support the roof and the wall of the concourse building comprise two large semi-sphere steel structures. Each piece has six segmental components of the truss joined together at the upper part. The structure has a egg shape when built from above. A total of 104 sets are used in the buildings. Each structure is 27 meters width, 40 meters long, 19 meters high, and weighs 167 tons. The 5-pin truss is so called because the two large pieces are connected to others by pin at five locations. For example, at the topmost part and at the four legs of the structure for strength and balance while allowing small movements to reduce torque. Furthermore, to transfer shear force loading on the four supporting legs, each of the bases is secured with 25mm steel plate and 36 anchor bolts of 32mm simultaneously. The 5-pin truss also receives side loading from the weight of the fabric membrane and wind loads. Facet frames and horizontal pressing are designed to accommodate the side loads. Construction Steps 1. Install temporary benches for assembling the 5-pin truss. 2. Install each segmental component of the 5-pin truss, commencing with the four bases of the legs, and proceed towards the center of the curve well, and then remove the last pin. 3. Install temporary benches for installation of the facet frame. 4. Remove temporary benches to the next position. Fabric membrane has been chosen as the material for the roof and facets of the concourses to prevent external heat and to diffuse natural light throughout the building interiors. The total coverage is 108 sections comprising three layers. 